Hello everyone, this is Marcia from One Scrap at a Time and I'm back today with another YouTube scrapbook process video for Simple Stories. So today I'm working with the Hello Summer collection from Simple Stories and this is um, one of my absolute favorite um, collections from the new ones that they have um, come out with. Um, it is so bright and colorful. It has lots of different um, fun embellishments and pattern papers. Um, lots of fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a digital cut file from Disney Studios called Outline Alphas. And I cut the outline of the alpha in a white um, basil cardstock. And then I also cut the insides of each of the alphas in the different pattern papers. Um, and then I'm gluing them together using my fine line glue bottle. So this is a fun way to use lots of different pattern papers on your layout and not have it look too busy. Um, each of the pattern papers um, are individual and um, can be appreciated on their own. All right, so what I wanted to do is to create a mixed media background. So I'm putting some yeso on my white cardstock. I like to use a really heavy basil, um, I think it's a hundred pound weight paper. It's heavier than the 80 pound um, normally um, that you would use. Um, and it doesn't warp as much. So um, the gesso helps, um, but the really heavy cardstock um, um, I love. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using the plastic packaging technique and just spritzing on some like Heidi Swap Color Shine. I think I used um, in different colors and I think I'm also using some shimmers as well. Um, different colors, seafoam and um, I think peacock and um, I'm not sure what the other darker blue one is. Three different ones I think. So then I'm checking to see if I have um, enough to go around my photo so I can see that the ink and I just added some shimmers vibes at the end there in a darker blue for some splatters. So then I'm ready to start working with my layout. So I wanted to anchor my layout with this striped pattern paper on the bottom. I thought it would help um, offset all those colorful pattern papers that I wanted to use from my title um, and it really does work well for um, anchoring the title onto the photo. So I'm going to um, start playing around with those letters that I um, pieced before and I want to stagger them and kind of scrunch them up together and then my photo will go on the top. But I also, um, I'm a sucker for a flamingo, I have to admit it. So I am cutting out um, one of the journal cards that has a flamingo on it and I'm going to use that on my layout as well. Um, it'll be great. So I have the flamingo pattern paper in the B and then a bigger flamingo there that I'm going to put up on my photo. So this photo is of my daughter and she did a trip to Florida with some girlfriends when she graduated from veterinary school and before she started her internship. Um, she just needed a break um, and she deserved a break too, all her hard work um, at school and so she spent a week with friends on a beach in Florida. I think it was Sunset Beach. She said it was beautiful. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting some foam tape behind the letters so that they're going to have some dimension and um, stand up a little bit off the page. Um, and I'm going to do that to all of the letters so that they'll all be at the same height. So you can see behind the letters I put a little strip of washi tape 
but that's going to be really hard to see once I, once I have all the letters down on here. So I'm going to do the same thing with my photo. I want my photo to um, be popped up as well. So I'm putting some foam tape on the back for a dimension here also. And um, then I thought it still needed something um, behind the photo. So I got the um, cloud pattern paper out. And I hadn't used that one yet um, for my letters. So I want to set that behind my photo. So I'm going to cut it down just a little bit so I can still see my paint splatters there too. So the paint um, on my background you can see behind the elf is yet and then peeking out from the sides. But um, in here a little bit because I put foam tape behind the alphas and there's foam tape on the photo and and so then I have to remove some of the foam tape to get it to lay right um, so and it all works out so then I'm ready to start adding some embellishments so I'm going through the bits and pieces to see um, what fun things I can put on here. So I thought beach, beach please, but then I thought that was one too many beach. So then I saw this hello chipboard piece and I thought that'll work perfect. So my title is going to be hello beach. Um, and I love how that looks. It combines a couple different fonts in the title with the script letters and um, than the outline alphas. So um, I really love to do that. So I'm going through adding some stickers, pulling in some die cuts, um, putting foam tape behind some things here as well, and getting everything arranged. This was, um, like I said, this was such a fun collection to work out that this layout just came together really well. So I'm tucking in little tiny things like sand pail and a shovel. Um, I think I'm going to add a sand castle. Then I have the umbrella and the beach. Um, then I thought I needed something at the top. So I got out some more washi tape. And um, what I'm doing here is I'm tearing it lengthwise. So I, I like the look. It, it's um, more of a distressed look. It's not so perfect um, and I, I like that. So uh, and I'm still going through and throwing some embellishments on here. I like the pineapple. I like f the flowers, um, beach ball. So we're going to go through and um, add a lot more stuff. So this is what's really fun. Layering um, stickers and, and the die cuts and lots of other things on top of each other. It's, it just makes it fun. So I found one more banner sticker that I put up at the top. And this collection also has the, um, some fun phrase stickers. So I wanted to go through and pick out some of the phrases to put on here as well. So you can see me do that. I'm putting on uh, a couple of the phrase stickers underneath my title. And then moving one up by my photo. So um, I am kind of moving stuff around. I'm adding the sand castle now. Um, adding a photo tab. So I'm coming to the end of my video here. I'm going to add a few enamel dots and um, then I wanted to add a couple more phrase stickers. So I want to thank you all for stopping by. I really do appreciate um, all my followers and the kind comments you leave me. It means a lot. 
So thanks so much. I hope you guys are all having an awesome summer. Bye-bye now.